Okay, I got him. Now my aunt thinks I left. <laughs> so, let's go give her a surprise. She probably won't be fooled and she probably won't be scared. She's pretty tough. Look what I caught! <laughs> What's up everyone? Anyway, I'm at my cousin's house. They're about 20 minutes from my work. And I gotta be at work. Um, I could stay only, I could stay here for only an hour. But anyway, so he has mold problems again. And it's, his yard's kinda dry and he sets out mole traps. I want to show you one. I just saw it. It's just kind of funny because the mole actually just went right underneath it and it never set it off. Check it out. The mold just went right underneath it. Never set the thing off. Spike traps, you know, they don't work that well. All right, and he's got another one over there. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I saw a fresh area, I stepped on it. Um, I don't have too much, uh, what? I don't have too much hope. I don't have too much hope to, um, a mole today. I just don't see a lot of activity. Fresh activity anyway. I can't believe it. He's really hard to see. I'm gonna hurry up and grab my shovel. My tripod. Yes, yes, you will see in this video how I missed him and uh, I came back and then I saw him move and he went underneath that little bullet block, landscape block. Then I came back 10 minutes later and I picked up my tripod, my camera, my shovel and I started to walk to my car to go and look who I caught. What the heck? Unbelievable. Woohoo! All right, let's get a closer shot here at the little blighter. Oh gosh, it scared me. He's squealing. Looks like a male. He's got that russet orange on his snout. But yeah, yes you are. Well, I'm gonna be late for work, so I need to find a place to relocate it or um, I might leave the mole to my aunt and she could relocate it for me so I'll go talk to her after I scare her with it. Ain't that right? Oh yes you are. Oh yes you are. Oh yes you are. It's just my little baby. It's just my little baby. Cool. Okay. I got him. Now my aunt thinks I left. <laughs> so let's go give her a surprise. She probably won't be fooled and she probably won't be scared. She's pretty tough. I caught one mole here before, remember, and they put it in their, their swimming pool. Where are you, ugly? Sonny! You downstairs?
Tommy! Oh, you down here, ugly? Oh. Look at the car. <laughs> This mole's crazy too. It's very uh, Let's um, get a picture for birds. very not happy. No, normally I'm okay. not scared, of, but it's because I didn't know. I just wasn't expecting. Okay, so I have a little bit of a problem. I just got in my car, and you, normally I'm at work by now, and I'm in a neighborhood that I'm not too familiar with. I don't know where to let the mole go. Here's the mole. He's in there. He's underneath the dirt. I'm trying to calm him down and a little cool him off as well, but. I'm, I'm gonna have to release this mole before I get, well, before I get to the highway. And I don't know where I'm gonna do that at, so it might not be in the woods, just so you know. I don't wanna do it in someone's front yard or anything, but it might be somewhere that's not, you know, not a front yard and not in the woods, so I don't, I don't know. Oh man, see, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, I just pulled off to an area. It looks like a common area. This is really stupid, and I'm parked in the wrong spot. But, you know, I'm gonna give the mole a second chance at life. And, um, at least I'm not killing it, right? There you go, buddy. That's it. Time to go. Look at the mole. That's what a mole looks like. It's cute. It's so cute. My mom was just telling me the other day how soft they are. But he puts videos wow. catching them on YouTube and I'm screaming and he's putting it on you. <laughs> how did you catch it? You with a shovel? Man, I, I catch, always catch them alive with a shovel. I don't know what it looks like. You're in shadow. Do we